first have a look on the learning objectives at the end of the lecture students would be able to define Parkinson's disease explain pathophysiology causes and clinical features of Parkinson's disease discuss goal for the treatment of Parkinson's disease classify anti Parkinson drugs describe mechanism of action pharmacokinetics clinical uses adverse drug effects and contraindications of anti Parkinson drugs and describe maintenance therapy for Parkinson disease. Parkinson disease is a slowly progressive neurodegenerative disorder in the substantia nigra and nigrostatal tract, resulting in decrease or diminished release of dopamine. So the normal balance of acetylcholine and dopamine in the CNS is affected. Remember that substantia nigra is a midbrain gray matter portion of the basal ganglia that produces neurotransmitter dopamine. It is the only neurodegenerative disorder whose signs and symptoms can readily be improved by medications. These signs and symptoms appear when 60 to 80 percent of dopaminergic neurons are destroyed. The basal ganglia is the site which controls movement and this control is achieved by releasing dopamine and an acetylcholine in balance. The dopamine is the inhibitory neurotransmitter while the acetylcholine is the excitatory neurotransmitter. In case of Parkinson's disease, there is degeneration and loss of neurons in substantia nigra which are responsible for the synthesis of dopamine. Loss of these neurons leads to dopamine deficiency in basal ganglia which allows cholinergic transmission to predominate. Dopamine deficiency and cholinergic predominance in basal ganglia are responsible for the manifestations of Parkinson disease leading to excess muscle tone, tremors and rigidity. Causes include genesis and idiopathic. Other factors are age, that is, it is more common between the age 60 to 80 years. When these signs and symptoms occur before the age of 50 years, then it is labeled as early onset Parkinson disease. It is more common in children. It is associated with viral encephalitis, that is, inflammation of the brain tissue due to viral infections such as HIV, HSV, etc. Arteriosclerosis also causes Parkinson's disease and it is described as damage to arterial wall due to smoking, hypertension, fat and glucose deposition. Head injuries are very common and it is usually seen in, sport, in sports play too like in boxers and the main example and the most common example is the boxer Mohamed Ali Clay. Then oxidative stress also causes Parkinson disease. It is an imbalance between free radicals of oxygen containing molecules and antioxidants which causes aging, gray hair, wrinkles and signs of Parkinson disease. Mm -hmm. The poisoning of metals also cause Parkinson disease and copper poisoning is one of them. Toxins such as MPTP that is methylphenyl tetrahydropyridine insecticides also cause Parkinson disease. Levi bodies are also responsible for Parkinson disease and these Levi bodies are abnormal aggregations of proteins that develop inside nerve cells and cause dementia and cognitive, Im cognitive impairment that is problems with memory, speech, thinking and judgment. Some medications are also responsible such as antipsychotic drugs. These are the drugs which are used to treat psychosis. These drugs act by, 
by inhibiting dopamine and include haloperidol, clozapine, etc. Antiemetics are another group of work which diminishes the activity of dopamine and thus in this way these drugs control nausea and vomiting. Adrenergic neuron blocking drugs. These are the drugs which inhibit the reuptake of dopamine and include recipe. Then sensory acting sympatholytic drugs. These are the drugs which block sympathetic activity by binding to and activating alpha-2 adrenoceptors and include clonidine and methyl dupa. Clinical features include bradykinesia and akinesia, muscular rigidity, tremors, abnormalities in gait, dementia, dys dysarthria, and facial mass. Bradykinesia is described as slow movement, while akinesia is described as absence of movement. Patient experiences bradykinesia or akinesia, that is, feel that is unable to do simple tasks such as try to pick something, get out from the chair, etc. Muscular rigidity is also seen. It is defined as inability of muscles to relax, that is, muscles become so tense and stiff that cause sharp pain when they move. Example, eating, chewing, etc. Tremors. Tremors or is a shaking usually begins in a limb, often involves fingers or hand at rest, also produces pull rolling effect, sorry, pill rolling tremors, that is try to roll pill or small objects between thumb and index finger. Also, these patients give a stoop posture and show difficulty in balance, leading to gait abnormalities. Dementia is also a common symptom which is associated with memory loss with decline in thinking. This atria is, a, is another sign which is characterized by a speech problem and facial mass is also an important clinical feature which is marked by expressionless look with decrease in autonomic movement, example smiling, blinking, etc. The goal for the treatment of Parkinson's disease is to correct the imbalance between acetylcholine and dopamine and this can be a and this can be accomplished by either increasing the supply of dopamine or blocking the acetylcholine levels. It can be achieved by giving anti-Parkinson drugs, physiotherapy, diet rich in fiber, and or surgery are also helpful. The anti-Parkinson drugs include the drugs which show action on dopaminergic system and the drugs which show action on cholinergic system. The drugs which act on dopaminergic system are the drugs which enhances the activity of dopamine and include dopamine precursors such as L-dopa or levodopa. Then peripheral dopamine decarboxylase inhibitors include carbidopa and benzerazide. Catechol O methyl inhibitors include entacapone and tolcapone. Monoamine oxidase B inhibitors include serigiline, resigiline, and safinamide. Dopaminergic antagonists include bromocryptine, pergolite, propinarol, ramipixel, protibutin, and epomorphine. Dopamine facilitator or potentiator and the example is, is amantadine, which is a prime example of antiviral drug. Then there is another group which shows action on cholinergic system and it includes mm -hmm. centrally acting anticholinergic drugs 
which inhibits the acetylcholine level level which which innervate the skeletal muscle and include benzhexol and bipyridine all these drugs act on g protein couple receptors the levodopa is a single most effective agent in the parkinson disease it is a drug which is used as a alone or in combination to treat the parkinson disease as dopamine does not cross blood brain barrier when administered systemically and has no therapeutic utility in parkinson disease therefore liver dopa the immediate precursor of dopamine is given which crosses the blood brain barrier and reaches the basic ganglia where it is decarboxylated to dopamine and produces its therapeutic effect the release dopamine in synaptic space is either transported back by presynaptic reuptake or it is metabolized by monoamine oxidase and catechol o methyl transferase the l dopa is available in oral as well as in iv form this also the new preparation is available that is the inhaled powdered form of l dopa with the trait name in bereja this drug is used in emergency when the patient experiences sudden return of parkinson disease symptom that is wearing off effect while taking l dopa alone or in combination with carbidopa so this drug shows when the l dopa is given about 70% of the drug is metabolized and just 1 to 3% of the drug reaches the brain to produce its effect the drug is helpful to treat parkinson disease and also helpful to treat restless leg syndrome and in this condition the drug is administered with peripheral dopamine decarboxylase inhibitor such as carbidopa the restless leg syndrome is defined as unpleasant feeling in the legs which improves by moving them the adverse effects these adverse effects are seen in initial therapy and some adverse effects are seen when the drugs are taken for a longer period of time the adverse effects which are associated with initial therapy include nausea and vomiting it is seen in about 80% of the patients because because of inhibition of dopamine sorry these nausea vomiting is seen in 80% of the patient because of increased dopamine concentration in the in the periphery then postural hypotension is seen in about 30% of the patient and it is associated with increased and it is seen when there is increased dopamine in the blood then the positive feedback mechanism occurs which inhibits the synthesis release and reuptake of dopamine and causes the postural hypotension also causes cardiac arrhythmias hypertension and angina due to the beta adrenergic action also causes gi bleeding alopecia confusion and insomnia there are some adverse effects which are seen after prolonged therapy and include denervation super sensitivity and fluctuation in motor performance in parkinson disease there is diminished dopamine with increased post synaptic dopamine receptors in basal ganglia when l dopa is given for the treatment of parkinson disease and converts to dopamine in brain then post synaptic dopamine receptors show increased responsiveness for dopamine to produce mark effects this condition is known as denervation super sensitivity fluctuation in motor performance is also seen when the patient takes it work for a longer period of time initially the patient experiences bradykinesia and rigidity 
after birth the patient experiences dyskinesia, which is defined as excessive abnormal involuntary movement characterized by waving of arms, sticking out the tongue, etc. and later on experiences varying of phenomena. That is, this phenomena is seen after a few years of usage of l dopa during wearing off the symptoms of Parkinson's disease start to return or worsen before the next dose of l dopa is due and improve when the next dose is given. The liver dopa show multiple drug interactions that is when the liver dopa is taken with pyridoxine that is vitamin B, B6 then this vitamin B6 accelerates the peripheral decarboxylation of L dopa to such an extent that it controverts the effects of L dopa. When antipsychotic drugs are given together with L dopa then the therapeutic effect of L dopa is decreased because the L dopa needs increased concentration of dopamine to produce its therapeutic effect, while the antipsychotic drugs need diminished dopamine level to produce its effect. The similar is the case with the anti dopaminergic drugs. The adrenergic neuron blocking drugs, the examples are recipine, and these drugs show in a, and these drugs show inhibition of dopamine reuptake. So when these drugs are taken with L-dopa, then these drugs causes long stay of dopamine in the presynaptic space and so it leads to the breakdown of the dopamine. Then anticholinergic drugs are also show interaction but this interaction is synergistic in nature and improve muscular activity. Non-specific monoamine oxidase inhibitors also show drug interaction and the example is phenazine. When a patient is taking <coughs> when a patient is taking non-specific monoamine oxidase inhibitors along with food having increased tyramine such as cheese, coffee, chocolate, then that patient experiences hypertensive crisis that is raised blood pressure more than 180 by 120 millimeter mercury. It occurs as tyramine causes increased release of dopamine and norepinephrine from presynaptic vesicles that are not metabolized by non-specific monoamine oxidase inhibitors, leading to increased amount of monoamine that is epinephrine and norepinephrine dopamine in blood and cause hypertension. The peripheral dopamine de decarboxylase inhibitors are the very important work which are used in combination with L-dopa and the examples are carbidopa and benzerizide. When L-dopa is available in combination with carbidopa then, then it is available in the market with the trade name cyanamide while the combination of benzerizide with L-dopa is available with the trait name Medupal. These drugs do not penetrate the blood-brain barrier and reduce the peripheral metabolism of L-dopa and so there is no conversion of L-dopa into dopamine. So in this way the systemic adverse effects which are seen with L-dopa is diminished. Also, when the carbidopa is used with L-dopa, the daily requirement of L-dopa is reduced by 30 to 75 percent. The benefits of combination is that the drug the combination of the benefit of combination is that the combination decreases the need of liver dopa also reduce the systemic adverse effects which include 
cardiac arrhythmia, nausea and vomiting etc. And also decreases the effect which is associated with pyridoxine intake. That is when pyridoxine is taken in combination with carbidopa then the de decarboxylation of L-dopa is decreased. And also the varying of effect is also reduced. So when combination is given, the drug metabolism of L-dopa is reduced and so large amount of L-dopa reaches the brain to produce its therapeutic effect. There is another combination which is catechol o methyl transferase inhibitors and this combination is useful to inhibit the metabolism of L-dopa and thus inhibit the formation of 3-O-methyl dopamine. This drug includes, this combination includes entercapone and tolcapone. Entercapone is the drug which inhibits the metabolism of L-dopa in the periphery while the tolcapone inhibits the metabolism of L-dopa in the periphery as well as in the central nervous system. Both these drugs produce orange discoloration of the urine like rifampicin which is the anti-TB drug. There is another drug which is monoamine oxidase B inhibitors. These are the drugs which inhibit the metabolism of dopamine and include serigerine, fresigerine and safinamide. And these drugs are also used in combination with L-dopa. These drugs reduce the motor fluctuations like bradykinesia, dyskinesia and wearing off effect. And it is and it is useful to treat Parkinsonism associated with toxins such as MPTP. There is another drug in this group that is a safinamide which is helpful to treat symptoms such as bradykinesia, dyskinesia etc. and it is a newer drug. Dopaminergic antagonists include bromocryptine and pergolite. These are the examples of ergot alkylase. These drugs produce effect by enhancing the activity of dopamine at D2 and D1 receptors. However, the pergolite is a drug which is more effective than bromocryptine, but nowadays it is rarely used because it produces regular heart disease such as aortic stenosis. While in cases of bromocryptine, it is more used as it is used in Parkinson's disease besides acromegaly, diabetes mellitus and also an increased secretion of prolactin. There is another group which is labeled as non ergot alkylase and include propinarol, framipexol, proticutine, etc. These drugs show activity by binding to D2, D3 receptors and thus improve the muscular fluctuation. In this case, the rotigotin is a newer drug and it, and it can be also delivered through a skin patch. Apomorphine is another example of dopaminergic agonist and it is available in IV, subcutaneous, sublingual or intranasal preparation. It is a potent water soluble dopamine agonist and it is helpful to treat wearing off effect. All the, all the dopaminergic agonists are also useful to treat restless leg syndrome. The, the adverse effects include nausea vomiting, GI bleeding, postural hypertension, mental disturbances and excessive daytime sleepiness that is labeled as somnolence. 
dopamine facilitator and the example is a amantadine it is a example of antiviral drug this work is also helpful to treat parkinson disease as it increases the synthesis release and reuptake of dopamine it also show anticholinergic activity that is it decreases the acetylcholine innervation to skeletal muscle and prevent tremors and bradykinesia also diminishes the activity of glutamate which is an excitatory neurotransmitter the dopamine facilitator amantadine produces an adverse effect of levodo reticularis which produces purplish discoloration of lower extremities However, this adverse effect is diminished within a month after drug withdrawal. Central anticholinergic drugs like benzaxol, biparitin are also helpful to treat Parkinson's disease and these drugs improve tremors and muscular rigidity by decreasing the acetylcholine innervation to skeletal muscle. These drug produces mydosis that is dilatation of the pupil urinary retention constipation and also causes acute suppurative parotitis that is swelling and pus discharge from parotid gland the drug is contraindicated in prostatic hyperplasia gi obstruction and close angle glaucoma in cases of prostatic hyperplasia what is prostatic hyperplasia it is a non cancerous prostatic enlargement which causes urinary retention obstet while the obstructive gi diseases include hernia inflammatory bowel disease while close angle glaucoma is labeled when the angle between the iris and the cornea is closed and increases the infra ocular pressure the maintenance therapy is needed as patient of parkinson disease takes that work for whole life it varies from person to person the main principle is to target the most disabling symptom and also slows the progression of the disease the maintenance therapy depends whether the patient is suffering from cognitive function or not if cognitive function is intact then all drugs can be used to treat parkinson disease like dopamine agonist dopamine decarboxylase inhibitor monoamine oxidase inhibitor catecholamine transferase inhibitor along with levodopa however when the cognitive impairment is seen then all of the drugs are given except the anticholinergic drugs and amantadine which also show which also show anticholinergic activity these drugs should not be given as these drugs have effects on skeletal muscle and help to treat muscular rigidity and tremors which is not associated with cognitive impairment so in this lecture it is discussed that parkinson disease is a neurodegenerative disorder due to diminished dopamine and, and excessive acetylcholine in cns to treat imbalance supportive therapy example physiotherapy improved diet that is the diet, diet rich in fiber is needed along with anti parkinson drugs and surgery short acting levodopa is the main drug it is a precursor of dopamine to enhance the therapeutic effect of l dopa the l dopa is taken with dopamine decarboxylase inhibitors catechol o methyl transferase inhibitors or monoamine oxidase inhibitors these drugs maintain therapeutic level of dopamine in brain needed for the treatment of parkinson